Follow the link in the description for your chance to enter to win a free $50 Amazon gift card or your choice of awesome t-shirt from my friends at Ripped Apparel. All part of my 7K subscriber giveaway. Enter today. Not seeing my videos in your subscription feed? Make sure you've clicked the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of all my newest uploads. Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and let's talk about Nintendo discontinuing the NES Classic Edition. A representative from Nintendo made a press release today stating that Nintendo is washing their hands of the NES Classic Edition. And what few NES Classic Editions Nintendo still has are going into stores this month, April, and then after that, the NES Classic Edition will be no more. And the thing I really want to discuss here and try and figure out is... How could Nintendo have blown this so incredibly badly? Now, when Nintendo first announced that the NES Classic Edition was coming out, I, like so many gamers of my generation who grew up playing the Nintendo Entertainment System, the original Nintendo system, were hyped. We were getting this nice, cute little mini uh, Nintendo Entertainment System loaded with 60 uh, classic games. The hype was overwhelming. Now, the people that I know who follow Nintendo, and, and now granted, I've not followed Nintendo since literally the Super Nintendo, but the people that I know who have followed Nintendo all told me they will blow this. They will botch this. When the pre-order goes live, you better be there and you better pre-order. Well, even those people, I'm sure, had to say to themselves after the debacle of the NES Classic Edition launch, even by Nintendo terms, that was a huge failure. That was a major, major botch on Nintendo's part. Nintendo created an overwhelming demand for the NES Classic Edition. It was nostalgic. It was just cool. If you were a classic gamer, you wanted one. If you were a, uh, a, a younger gamer who you know, has, has heard the stories of you know, the original uh, Nintendo and, and what have you, the 8-bit the era, the glamour of the 8-bit era, you know, I'm sure they wanted one as well. An enormous demand. And what does Nintendo do? Don't even begin to uh, meet the demand with the supply. Very, very meager supply. The launch was a complete and utter debacle. I was right here in front of my computer on Amazon trying to desperately to get uh, a pre-order in for the NES Classic Edition and it just didn't work. Um, I did a video way back when discussing that. <laughs> I jumped on eBay. I scrolled down the list. I saw scalpers offering this $60 unit for tens of thousands of dollars. One person, as a matter of fact, if I recall correctly, was offering $50,000. The price was $50,000, I'm sorry. And he would hand deliver the NES Classic Edition to your door. Wherever you lived in the continental United States, he would jump on a plane and bring the NES Classic Edition directly to your door for $50,000. Now, I can't imagine a lot of people went out of their way to pay that or even to pay $1,000 for the NES Classic Edition. I'm probably wrong. I'm sure I'm wrong. But I did hear from at least one of my viewers that they paid $400 for the unit. They desperately wanted it. They did not know if Nintendo were ever going to make any more of the NES Classic Editions. So they went ahead, they bit the bullet, and they paid $400. For the NES Classic Edition. I thought rather naively that surely to God someone at Nintendo would be smart enough to put another run of the NES Classic Editions out around the holiday season, around Christmas time. 
they didn't. They're releasing the last batch of NES Classic Editions this month, April. They're in stores apparently now. Uh, check your local retail <laughs> stores and see if one of them has an NES Classic Edition. And if they do, you better go get it because once these are gone, they're gone for good. It, 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 it turns into a complete scalper's haven at this point now. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go on eBay and look now. I'm, I'm afraid. I think my blood pressure would probably go, go through the roof. But um, I'm sure the scalpers are probably back now as this news has spread that once this, once this run is done, the NES Classic Edition is done. But why I uh, wanted to do this video was to kind of speculate as to why um, Nintendo is not producing more of these, why they're deciding to just completely wipe their hands of the NES Classic Edition. And I also want to try to wrap my mind around how they could have blown this so badly. How they could have dropped the ball so badly with the NES Classic Edition. Literally, this should be in 85% of homes in America. I think that that was probably the demand, honestly. And Nintendo, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm holding this thing and I'm thinking it's so light. These things had to cost Nintendo a dollar a piece to produce. They're so light. There's literally nothing to them. There's no material to this thing. Literally a dollar. I can't imagine it costing them more than a dollar or two to produce each of these individually. You're selling them for $60. That's a big profit. And I'm sure Nintendo made a pretty healthy profit off of the NES Classic Edition. What few NES Classic Editions that they did produce and sell. But imagine the untold fortune that they've wasted by not producing more, by not creating a supply to even remotely meet the demand. You're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars that Nintendo is basically just, ah, we don't care. Ah, we don't need it. Ah, who cares? Um, that is mind-boggling to me. Absolutely mind-boggling to me. And I wonder, how does Nintendo even stay afloat because I never hear anybody talking about Nintendo. Some people are kind of hyped about the switch. I could care less. It seems like Nintendo in the, 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 the gaming console race is in a very, very distant third. I never hear anybody talk about Nintendo. I never hear anybody talk about playing Nintendo games. The only person I know in my personal life who owns a Nintendo product is a first generation Wii and all they use it for is to stream Netflix. And if how Nintendo handled the NES Classic Edition is indicative of how they handle their day-to-day -day business operations, I can totally understand why they're a distant third place in the console war. So what's the speculation as to why Nintendo is washing their hands of the NES Classic Edition? Could it have something to do with the fact that the unit has been hacked and people are adding ROMs to the 60 original games that came with the unit? At first I heard 100 games, then 200 games. The last I heard, 600 ROMs. This little unit will hold 600 hundred NES ROMs. That means this thing has a huge, huge hard drive. And I speculated when I was doing my unboxing of this unit, again, huge shout outs to my buddies, Steve and Andrew, who hooked me up with this NES Classic Edition, that the fact that Nintendo made it uh, USB integrated is clearly indicative of the fact that they had future plans for the NES Classic Edition in so far as expansion packs, um, DLC, where you could buy more games to add on to the NES Classic Edition. So clearly I think Nintendo did have some future plans for the NES Classic Edition. So could 
the fact that now it's hackable and you can add as many games as you want for free to it has that kind of made them want to wash their hands of the nes classic edition or is there some other reason why nintendo wants to just get the last it's like it's like a yard sale we've got a, the last few of these things left in the factory and we just want to get them out and get them gone and be done with them I just don't get it. I, I'm so perplexed by Nintendo and how they handled the NES Classic Edition. I, I, I just don't get it. From a business standpoint, it just it, it seems to me like they've missed out on an absolute fortune. This thing could have made them hundreds of millions of dollars, maybe more. Especially when you talk about you know again DLC add-ons, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I just don't get it. I absolutely don't get it. And this is such a cool, fun little thing to own. And it sucks that so few people were lucky enough to get their hands on one. And in the future, if you want to get your hands on one, you're going to have to pay a lot of money online from scalpers. And, um, I, I just think that really sucks. I don't, I just don't get it. Nintendo. I just don't get it. Um, it. It feels like you're screwing yourself over from a business point of view, and it feels like you've screwed over your fans, your and particularly your fans my age, who have such fond memories of the old Nintendo, as I, as I always called it, the old Nintendo, the Nintendo Entertainment System, uh, the 8-bit era. Um, gosh, I don't know. I, I'd love to hear what you guys think, uh, why do you think Nintendo, number one, botched the NES Classic Edition so badly? And why do you think now they're discontinuing the NES Classic Edition? Let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, let me know, were you lucky enough to get an NES Classic Edition uh, through a retail store and not through a scalper? If you did buy an NES Classic Edition, uh, say from eBay, from a scalper, please let me know how much you paid for it. Um, I promise you we won't we won't ridicule you <laughs> in the comment section. Um, but yeah, I, I just don't get it. I, I can't wrap my mind around it. I just can't wrap my, my mind around it. And I'm sure there's probably some... Uh, there's probably a lot that we'll never know about um, why the NES Classic Edition wasn't uh, uh, the success that we'd all hoped it was. I don't know. Uh, if you've not entered my 7K subscriber giveaway to win a free $50 Amazon gift card or some awesome shirts for my friends at Ripped Apparel, that link is in the description. Enter today. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. They're also right around here. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care and until next time, peace. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.